Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and it is time for the Gnome Friends Bunny Assembly video. So I went ahead and I cut out this um, gnome bunny, whatever. The thing, the idea is this bunny is the same size as all of the gnomes. So all of the gnome accessories will work with the bunny. So you could use this bunny for Easter or you could have him holding absolutely anything. So I decided to use grays. And so I used three different colors of gray and then I used distress ink in um, hickory smoke to ink around the edges of this one. So I'm just inking around all the edges. And there are two looks of this bunny. There's a lop-eared bunny, you know, with the little ears that hang down. And then there's a normal bunny with the ears that stick up. Now, the uh, three colors of gray that I used, they're actually from American Crafts. And they've got some texture to them. Um, so, you know, which is quite nice. The pink that I used is Doodlebug's 12-inch dot stripe on the dot side. In like this pretty pink, I don't know the name of the color, but... That's what it's from. So I inked around the edges. Now you don't have to ink around the edges. I just decided to ink around the edges of one of them. So I'm just quickly going to do that and then I will assemble, assemble this little guy. So like I said, all of the gnome, what's it called? The, the gnome accessories will work with this bunny, including all the hats. So, which is lots of fun. So, you know, you'll have to try out different hats on this bunny. In fact, you could even make a Christmas ornament with a bunny, right? And have him holding Christmas stuff. That would be cute too. Okay, so I cut out the main back layer out of a darker gray, and then I added the face and the tummy on. They line up perfectly. Then these two ears, you can see where the glue goes um, for the tabs behind the head. It lines up with the border of the head perfectly. So I'm adding on, these are a darker gray. So I'm layering on those, and then I'll layer on the pink um, ear centers. You can sort of see the way that they fit. There's some stitching sort of as a guideline. There we go. And then what you do is you add some glue to those tabs to put them on. But first, I'm going to put the little tiny nose, and I'm going to use that Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick it up. A little bit of glue, like I said, that Nouveau glue. Now I'm going to add on the little ears. See, they line up perfectly with the back of the head. So it's a lot of area. So it's not gonna fall off or do something funny. It's, you know, they're pretty lined up. See, kind of handy. So I do weight it down in between. So next I cut out the little feet with the little um, toe beans that are already cut out of them um, in the gray. And then I'm adding the pink behind it. So it looks like there's little pink toe beans. And that pink is that same doodlebug um, dot stripe in the 12 inch in that pretty pink. I really don't know the color off the top of my head, but that's what it is. And there we go. And I do weight them down. Now I'm going to add on this little piece. I cut it out of white. This could either be teeth or it could be a little tongue. I decided to do teeth because of course a little bunny has little buck teeth. Next we have the eyes. And they, I have cut out of black cardstock from American Crafts and white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink, just because I had scraps on my desk, and that's what you do. They line up perfectly together, so they're both the same size. And then you've got the little pupils that um, are cut out of those little white pieces. So you've got to line them up. There we go. And I do weight it down. Oops. It wasn't exactly lined up, but anyway, I do weight it down in between and I'll do the next one. And there we go. And then we'll have the little eyes. Isn't that cute? Okay, so next we've got the little tail and that's going to be behind the bunny. Isn't that cute? Just too cute. Now you could use that for hair if you wanted on the, you know, up by the bunny's head and you know have it underneath a hat if you wanted to do that now watch this is where I make my mistake I put them in the wrong place so you're supposed to have them line up with those stitch lines so but I left it in because you know it's good for people to see when I make mistakes too it happens all the time honestly every day I make tons of mistakes. So next I'm going to use some Stampin' Up Dimensionals and I'm going to pop up his feet. 
And I realized I'm going to ink around the edge of that a little bit because you can sort of see the pink underneath there. So I'm going to pop up those feet. Why not, right? Now remember, so you could have this bunny holding anything, right? Wouldn't that be cute? There's so many different things. And see, that's a hat, right? That's from the original gnomes. I just wanted to show you that it works. So there we go. And like I said, he can hold anything as well. So there's different types of arms. There's these ones that look like he's just sort of, you know, they're going down the sides of his body. He could have like a little heart or something in between them if he wanted. There's hands, just like the gnomes has, or little paws. Or there's little arms that you can have sticking out from the sides of the bunny, and it looks like they're holding something like a balloon. Okay, so I'm using a Copic marker in R21, and I'm just going to draw some cheeks on and flick some in the ears. And then I'll use, um, and then I realize, Leanne, you had the eyes in the wrong spot. So this is how you fix mistakes, people. You cut a new piece, you weight it down, and you do it again. So... Anyways, like I said, the, then there's another um, set of arms that look like they're sticking out from the body. And then you can have the little paw like it's holding something, like if you're going to hold something that's like a balloon or something like that. So it's kind of handy. So three different looks for arms. I'm going to add that little nose on. That's that same dot stripe pink from Doodlebug and the 12 inch. Now, now I've got the eyes and they're supposed to line up with the stitching lines on both sides and they're widely spaced. So I'm just going to add some glue and then I will stick down these little eyeballs and you see that the lower part of the eyeball is going in towards the nose. So it sort of follows the shape of that cheek stitching, right? So I'm just trying to get them lined up as well as I can. There we go. Now I'm going to take that R21 Copic marker. There we go. And then I will take a, a Copic blender, a zero, and just run it around the edge. And that way it kind of blends into the background a bit. And then I will use a secure white jelly roll pen and a number 10 to add a few little freckles. There we go. And isn't he cute? So you can dress him up however you like. But this is him plain so far, right? So there he is, and if you want him holding a coffee pot, look at that, and there's the little paws. Isn't that cute? So he can hold all the stuff that the gnome holds, and there's a little gnome hat, right? But remember, there's tons of gnome hats that you can do. Okay, next we're going to put together the next bunny, and we're not going to do any inking on this one. I'm using the same colors of gray, and I'm just going to put this guy together. So this guy will have the... Um, Whoops, this guy will have the little buck teeth as well, a little pink nose as well. So all the same papers, just a different combination. You know, all the grays. This one has more of the dark grays than the light grays, but it doesn't matter. The little feet are the exact same. And, um, you know, I'm adding that, adding those on as well. There are uh, stitching lines to make sure that you have the feet lined up correctly. So, you know, because there, there is a right and a left, I guess you want to say. So, you know, just keep an eye on it. Although only you and I will know, right? No one will know. Except for Leanne, the crazy one, knows these, notices these things. Okay, next we're going to put together the little ears. So this is a lop bunny and he's got droopy ears, which is always cute. I believe this is because uh, Michelle Quit Criswell, her daughter has a little bunny named Cinnabon and he's a lop. He's got the droopy ears. So she always likes those droopy eared bunnies. <laughs> so there we go. So we're going to add on both those ears. You see how they line up perfectly. And then there's a little spot that fits that little pink part perfectly. That's that same doodlebug 12 inch dot stripe in a pink. There we go. And I do weight it down in between. Now, I realized that I forgot to add a little tongue to this one because remember, it could be teeth or a tongue. I decided to put a tongue on this one and the teeth is on the other one. Isn't that fun? So there he is. He's sticking his tongue out. This one will have the buck teeth. So now you add glue to the tabs. And like I said, they fit perfectly behind the rabbit's head. There we go. And he's got the cute little droopy bunny ears. Isn't that sweet? Just making sure it's lined up perfectly. There we go. Well, 
I'm not happy with it. I've got to get it straight. There you have it. And then I'll pop up his little feet like I did with the other one. So you'll have cute little bunny feet. They almost look black in this lighting, but they're not. They're just a dark gray. And I'm going to add on his little fluffy tail. Right? Isn't that cute? And then he can wear a hat as well. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to pull these doodlebug. They are called um, shape sprinkles. What are they called? Like ICU or something like that. They're little black dots. And I'm going to be using them as eyeballs on this one. Oh, sorry. I was showing you the different arms there and hands that you can use. Oh, I'm going to pull out the secure white jelly roll pen and add a highlight to that one first. I'm doing a lot of messing around and not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. There we go. So I'm going to add the little, little eyes. These are shape sprinkles. They're called, um, is that a knife or an eye? I can't even tell you. So I'm going to add the pink on the cheeks again as well. And then I'll add the Copic Zero around the edge, just so it blends into the background a bit. And here, look at, he can hold a little coffee, coffee to go cup. Isn't that cute? We'll add little hands you see so you can have your bunnies holding anything you can be wearing a hat but there they are i'm going to add a few more little highlights to this guy add some little freckles on his cheeks because why not right and then we have two super cute bunnies and they can hold things and use all of the accessories uh, for the different gnome dies so cute so fun different directions for the arms so this guy has little, just little hands. And then you can see both of them, you know, one with the hands, one with the little arms sticking down. And that is also, thank you so much for stopping by. Get shopping, everyone.